Oh dear, oh dear. It seems like Gwent Police Chief Constable Pam Kelly isn't getting the backing that she might have liked by the Police and Crime Commissioner, nor for that matter, from Andrew Davis, the Senate's Conservative leader. Pam's leadership of Gwent Police has been criticised recently following not only the three senior officers who were dismissed for sexual misconduct recently, but also the latest round of WhatsApp message groups uh, scandals. Gwent, as you should already know by now, is being investigated by Wiltshire Police, which is a bit dodgy if you ask me. It's far too close to Gwent to be completely impartial, being only a small area of Avon and Somerset's patch between the two forces. But of course, we've got no say in that and we just have to let the police police themselves. The investigation commenced amid reports of misogynistic, racist and homophobic messages being sent through uh, WhatsApp by former and serving officers. Andrew Davis said that Gwent should be taken over in a process similar to special measures. Chief Constable Pam Kelly said on Monday that the initial complaint raised by the Jones family did not include the conduct matters now emerging and that as new issues come to light we will continue to take swift and robust action. We continue to be horrified by the comments and material shared by retired officers and a small number of serving officers. Yeah, you're only horrified that it's come out, not that it's been done. Same as all police cretins, happy to let it go at the time, but when it comes to light, all the excuses come out. Concerns have been raised by the family of the former police constable who took his life, as well as the Senate's Conservative leader, that the police are looking into the matter rather than an independent body. Now, some people have been asked or questioned why the family have muddied the father's name. Well, it appears that Ricky Jones, the former Gwent police constable whose phone had the messages on, was a bit of a controlling and abusive wanker at home. In a statement, the Welsh Conservative Senate leader said, like the poor family who suffered at the hands of Ricky Jones, I have no confidence in the senior management of Gwent Police, and it is appalling that such a disgusting culture was allowed to metastasise among a previously trusted Welsh public service. 33 women a week face domestic violence or fear for their life or injury, yet Gwent Police fostered this dangerous environment all under the leadership of a police and crime commissioner who seems to be asleep at the will. Let's not forget the police chief constable. The force needs taken over similar to special measures in, to, in a health board to rebuild it and to return it to good order and support those decent staff and officers who will be appalled by these revelations. The IOPC said we received a referral from Gwent Police on the 15th of November concerning the family's complaint and received two conduct referrals on the 18th and 19th of November relating to several serving and former officers identified as being involved in the phone messages. We have now had further material from both Gwent Police and Wiltshire Police which we are assessing to determine what further action to take. Oh, it's getting exciting now, isn't it? Wondering how long Pam Kelly will hold on to her top brass role, whether she'll get sacked before she can resign, whether she'll resign before she gets sacked. Actually, no, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen, isn't it? But still, it is exciting to know that soon we could be playing... Another one bites the dust.